Well, what a day in the golf world. What a day in the sports world. In case you haven't heard, the Live Tour and the PGA Tour have merged and nobody seemed to know a thing about it. So what's it all mean? What's professional golf and professional sports look like going forward? Adam Woodard of Golf Week from USA Today has been a friend of the show on The Extra Point and joins us on Arizona's Family to discuss. Level of surprise when uh, when you look down and saw us on your phone. I learned about this at the same time that Greg Norman did. So yeah, I'd say I'd say pretty shocked. Um, I mean, it's not hyperbolic to say that no one saw this coming outside of the people directly in the know. You talk to people in the in the golf industry over the last year and a half. The last thing anybody said was, "How is this, you know, lawsuit stuff going to get played out?" The last thing anybody thought was that a merger was going to happen. That that was a possibility for sure, but a lot had to happen, and it seemed like a lot did happen behind the scenes. So to answer your question directly, very very shocked. I mean, this is groundbreaking news that we're we're never going to see professional golf the same way again. It's I mean, it's crazy. Like, I'm I'm so excited to get there. To, I'm going to Canada right now here in the next little bit, going to cover on this. I am so excited to see what this is all going to be. Nothing like this has ever happened in golf before. So what do you think the reaction is going to be from the players? A lot of people are really upset already, as you can see. I know we've seen some some different tweets and stuff. I still, I'm, I'm still catching up with it just as quickly as everybody else is. But everybody found out at the same time. The tour was found out about it early this morning, shortly after the news went out. I think guys are really shocked. I think the live guys are obviously doing a take, taking a little parade and doing a little victory lap around here because it seems like you know it worked out well for them. But the tour guys are shocked. I think a lot of them are upset. A lot of them who might have been thinking in the back of their mind that they wanted to go to live. This is a win-win situation for them. Now they don't have to worry about all of that. But I think the guys who didn't make the move and that have supported the tour throughout all of this, I think they're going to be upset and rightfully so. Yeah, I mean, you, you think about the John Roms and the Rorys who didn't take the money and the guys who did take the money. How does how does this look when they all come back together? You got to feel for Rory because he was on the front lines taking all the hits, all the blows for this all last year. Um, obviously, you know, still still a millionaire, still a great player, so you don't have to feel too, too sorry for him. But he was out there. He put a lot of his time, his emotions, his efforts – into defending the tour, something that he loved. And now for all of that to kind of be pushed away to the side. Now we still don't know all the full details of what this new unnamed entity is going to be. I think it's a little weird they're announcing it without a name to it, but that, that that's here nor there. Uh, who knows what other golf puns we can get out of get out of what that's going to be. But I, th I think for Rory and John, you got to feel like, you know what, they have to feel a little, a little bit stabbed in the back. They stood up for the tour. They did all of this. And then for some of the stuff that, you know, Commissioner Monaghan has said about, you know, the PIF and the Saudis and stuff in the past for all, all of that's going to come back out. All of that's going to get brought back around. And it's you got to feel for the guys that 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 supported the tour who now, unfortunately, are kind of left sitting there thinking like, well, what the heck is this? What, what are we doing here? Like, what does this future look like? We fought for what we thought golf was supposed to be. And now it's going to be this whole brand new thing. And I, I, I'm just as shocked as they probably are. And, and you look, the State Department's over with working with the Saudi government right now about to open a, a new embassy. And you look at the soccer contracts and some of the numbers there of, you know, the, the messies of the world going over and, and yeah. playing soccer over there. So it just sports in general, as you kind of digest this, I feel like this is one of the bigger days for sports, not just for golf. Would you agree with that statement? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, it seems like the PIF is it's expanding everywhere. It started with business and now it's moving into sports. Saudi Arabia has had this, you know, the, the Vision 2030 plan for for they want to be able to invest more and be able to profit off of sport. You're, we've seen it in, in European soccer and in, I guess, Asian soccer now, because a lot of big name stars like Cristiano Ronaldo, a new guy, Kareem Benzema, won the you know Ballon d'Or as the world's best player last year. He's going to, to Saudi Arabia now. They're making an investment in sport and we've seen that throughout. And who, who knows what's next and, and what other league they're going to come for next. They went for golf because they knew that it could be a worldwide sport and that there was a market there. But it's kind of curious with the with, with the DOJ doing, a, you know, an antitrust investigation about, you know, anti-competitive behavior with Liv and the PGA Tour merging. I don't know who else could possibly break into that market. That's about as anti-competitive as it gets, I would say. I'm no expert in that regard. I'm going to stick to covering the golf and all that. But uh, I think that's another something interesting that could, we could look into is what the Justice Department investigation into the tour for antitrust violations does now. The fact that they've joined up with Liv, who was helping and supporting throughout all of that process. And then do you think there's a place for Phil Mickelson in this new in this new tour? Do you think there's a place for Greg Norman? I think there's a place for Phil Mickelson anywhere that there's golf, just because you know, of the character that he is and the player he used to be. And then the, the character he is now, we haven't seen that play since the PGA when he won a couple of years ago uh, for Greg Norman. I'm not so sure. I think he's burned. Uh, I think he's burned a lot of bridges. I I'm, 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 wouldn't be surprised if we see him get a settlement and kind of fade off into the black or at least just stay with live and not do anything 
in, in regard to this, whatever this new entity may be. Um, I'm not sure what all that's going to look like, but I would be just as shocked as I am today if Greg Norman is a part of this new entity going anywhere forward, especially with Greg Norman as the uh, as the CEO of the whole deal. Who's the first player you're going to try to talk to this weekend? Got to be Rory. Got to be. He's the biggest name in the field, and he's going to be, you know, the one getting all the questions. So he's he's the easy answer. But uh, anybody who's willing to talk is, uh, is 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 I think the answer that I'm going to give. All right. And where can we find your stuff? And uh, what's uh, uh, what's uh, what's the over under on story count this weekend for you? Oh gosh, I might set a new league record for us for 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 story count this week. We're already getting started. Um, you can find me at Adam Woodard on Twitter, golfweek.usatoday.com. Uh, all over the place there on the socials and all that. But yeah, we will be boots on the ground covering this, uh, you know, for the, for the for the foreseeable future. We've been on the live beat since the, since the jump, we knew what an impact this was going to have on professional golf. Didn't know it was going to have this kind of impact on professional golf, but uh, yeah, definitely a lot of fun stories and exciting stories to right here coming up. Hey, what a day. And we appreciate you making time for us today on, on what is no doubt a busy and uh, uh, you know, day we'll remember for a long time in the sports world. Thanks Mark. The Extra Point Podcast is a production of 3TV, CBS5, and azfamily.com in Phoenix, Arizona.